Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Still Her Style video. So today we're staying in that whole rock chic area because I am just all about that for my autumn capsule. I've mentioned this in a bunch of my previous videos. So I thought why not stick with that rock chic vibe and just get a lot of inspiration on how to dress with this kind of style. So today's style icon is the American model and actress Erin Wasson. So she's kind of the same type as Kate Moss, so a bit free, a bit wild and, you know, just has this really cool badass attitude. So let's start with having a look at some of the must-haves that you need in your wardrobe if you want to copy this really cool rock chic style. I've listed all of them down below, so if you want to go back and have a look at them, you definitely can. But some of the items I feel are very important for this kind of style. It's definitely a deep V tank or t-shirt, so just a really plunging one and then you know, stacking a bunch of necklaces on there to really make it look a bit more edgy. And then of course, a pair of light blue jeans, a biker jacket is wardrobe stables and definitely something you need for this kind of style. And then a waistcoat is something that Erin Watson is often spotted in and I feel like that's very rock and roll kind of so i found this one on west Air collective it's a secondhand one and then for accessories you definitely need a belt you need a fedora and then you need a pair of great sunglasses and for the sunglasses i suggest that you go for even the round ones or even the clubmaster sunglasses from ray-ban because they're very retro and they fit very well together with this kind of style So now that we kind of have the style canvas sorted out, let's have a look at her hair and makeup. So I actually read an article that she once said she never washes her hair. So I think that when it comes to hair, just leave it as natural as possible. I myself have very straight hair from nature, so I like to put in a few waves. I do have a tutorial on how I make my very natural, very effortless waves with my straightening iron. So if you want to go Back and have a look at that you definitely can but I think working in a lot of texture into your hair with maybe a bit of dry shampoo or with some wax or something to get that bedhead kind of hair but maybe just a bit more polished is a great way of working around that then also like most of my style icons she doesn't wear a lot of makeup and when she does she likes to focus on her eyes so like Lots of brown eyeshadows, these very warm earthy tones is often what she's seen in. So really focus on the eyes and make them kind of smoky and kind of intense. So I'm just taking a light brown color to kind of enhance my eyes so that it's still suitable for a daily look. So let's have a look at the three outfits I was inspired to create. As always, I'm only using things I already have in my wardrobe because that's the point with this whole series. But then at the same time, the point is also to kind of help you create a canvas. So if she's someone that you like to copy on a regular basis, then you could probably invest in some of the, the must-haves that I mentioned earlier. So the first outfit is one that reminds me how much I love an all black outfit. Sometimes we seem to overthink things, but an all black outfit is something that just wins for me every time. And especially if you spice it up with some brown accessories or something to kind of break up all of the black. So I will link the outfits that I have been inspired by down below so you guys can go back and have a look and see if I nailed it or not. But this outfit just kind of focuses on that very laid back casual style. So a plain black shirt with rolled up sleeves that's just buttoned down very low and then a bunch of necklaces, a pair of great black jeans and then a pair of boots. And really easy going but I think it looks very chic at the same time. So I really love this outfit. So going in for the next look, I really wanted to create something that involved my new coat for my autumn capsule. So this super cool leopard slash Dalmatian kind of coat, my Cruella de Vil coat, if you like. Um, and it's because I found an image of Erin where she's wearing an all black look. So again, 
black jeans, a black roll neck top, and then kind of a shaggy or fussy, I don't know if it's a cardigan or a coat. So I really wanted to recreate that again because it's very classic, it's very chic, but kind of rock and roll at the same time. And then she also tucked her hair behind one of her ears and then she wore these big silver statement earrings, which I think is a super cool look as well. So for the last look, it's a total no-brainer and it's actually something that I wear myself quite often but I just wanted to remind myself and also remind you guys of just how great a look I think this is because it's really one of my go-to everyday looks. Basically it's nothing else than a black blazer or whatever kind of blazer, a grey one would be great as well and a white t-shirt and then a pair of boyfriend jeans and then lastly a pair of white sneakers so really plain very basic and again not something that i really needed inspiration to create but then at the same time it was nice to see a picture of erin wearing this outfit to kind of remind myself how much i love a look like this it's really one of my go-to looks when i don't want to think too much about my outfit but still look chic at the same time so yeah, that was my three looks inspired by Erin Wesson. Like I said in the beginning, I have lots of other cool outfits by her that I think I could easily copy the style of. So if you want to have a look at those, definitely check out my Pinterest board down below. I have all of my other style icons on that board as well. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you all in the next one.